let's get started. I got my hair did. So I'm just starting off with a fresh bare face and priming my eyelids ready for eyeshadows. I suggest priming your eyelids always as they make the colors stand out more and stop the creasing that oily eyelids get. I'm going into this Attica Cosmetics palette and using the second lightest color. I'm patting it all over my eyelids and that primer we just put down. Using a shadow of a similar color to your skin tone helps set the primer and helps for smoother blending of eyeshadows. Taking the top right shade out of this palette from Tarte, I'm going to use this as my transition shade and blend it out into the upper crease. Going back into the Attica palette, I'm using the darker shade here and placing it right on the crease line, kinda accentuating a cut crease look. Make sure not to get any of this color on the actual eyelid. Using the color Buttery from the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I'm patting that on the lid right up to the crease. Do the lid shadow after blending out the crease. This will clean up the cut crease and make it stand out more. I forgot to show you the eyeliner I'm using, but I hardly stray from the Inglot Gel Eyeliner, so I'm using that one. You can go for a small baby wing, but today I'm going for quite a flicked out wing. I usually just build up the wing to how I want it, then move into the middle of the eye, then the inner corner. I find this the easiest way to apply eyeliner, but practice makes perfect. To prime my face today, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil. This is a smooth, lovely primer that also keeps my skin quite matte. It's great for my oily skin girls. For foundation today, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD. I know this color doesn't quite match my face, however, it matches the rest of my body. I'm applying it with my favorite foundation brush all over the face, avoiding the eye area. For me, avoiding the eye area helps my makeup from creasing and foundation getting in those lines under the eye. If you guys have that problem also, give it a try. To smooth out the foundation, getting rid of any brush strokes and harsh edges, I'm using the sponge from Real Techniques, damp, and just patting the foundation into my skin. For concealer, I'm using L'Oreal True Match and I just apply under the eyes, down my nose, middle of the forehead and chin. I'm actually not loving the really bright highlighted look at the moment, so I like applying something one shade lighter rather than two to three shades lighter. I blend it out with the same damp sponge and press it into the skin rather than swiping because we want to keep that concealer concentrated in those areas we applied it. Once that is all blended out seamlessly and no creases are anywhere to be seen, I use my translucent powder and heavily pack it on those areas I just applied the concealer to. This is going to set your face exactly the way it is. So if there is a crease under your eye, it will be super hard to get rid of it once it's set. I also just add that powder right under where I would contour because it helps create a clean line. For brows, nothing much changes for this. I just brush the hairs into place, then fill the tail end in with the dip brow, once I have the shape down, I fill in the front of the brow with the Brow Wiz from Anastasia as it's much easier to feather out and not create a harsh line. To contour, I'm using the Artisan Makeup Palette and using the color Contour, spelt with a K and just fluffing my angled brush along the contour line and upwards. I then add a bit of the contour powder to the sides of my forehead. I know right now I look so crazy and you must be thinking, what the heck is she doing? But I promise this will contribute to looking flawless once I'm done. Once I dust everything off with a large fluffy brush, I spray my face with Fix Plus from MAC or just any makeup setting spray that you have. This will help the powder melt into the skin and also when you apply the highlight, it will be much more luminous. 
With the highlighter, I'm going to hit the top of the cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the sides of my forehead, and the inner corner of my eye. When the light hits these areas of the face, it just gives off such an amazing glow. For blush, I'm using a blush from the same brand called Attica and I'm applying that with a fan brush to the apples of my cheeks and a bit further back to where my contour is. Going back into that tart palette and using the Dusty Rose colour, I'm blending it right along the lower lash line. Then taking the dark shade from that palette again, I'm focusing that tight on the lash line so it fades into the dusty rose colour. Also connect that dark colour to the wing on the outer corner. I love adding white or nude liner to the lower waterline because it really brightens the eyes and makes them look bigger. I'm applying mascara to the tops and bottom lashes. Then for false lashes, I'm using Velour Lash in the City. For lips, I'm feeling dark at the moment, so I'm going to use Damp from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm applying it with a lip brush and oh my goodness, the preciseness that it gives is crazy. How did I not know of this control and power that I could have over my lips? I use a brush for my clients, but on my own lipsticks, I usually just use the applicator. This is life changing, guys, absolutely life changing. Let me know what you guys think about this look. Thumbs up if you liked it, please. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.